Good evening everyone. Today in this tutorial we're gonna create animated text fields in Figma. So we're gonna create this cool uh, animation of the inputs fields. This is the second tutorial. In the first tutorial we created this input fields in Figma. We created the uh, basic states. And so today in this tutorial we'll create, we're gonna animate them and add them the prototype setting and I'll show you how to do that. That's gonna be very easy and quick. So let's get started. Now we're gonna create the, the animation. So I have my components here on uh, on my left because I've created this animation already and I'll show you how we, how we can do it, okay? All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna get this component. I'll detach this instance, okay? Um, then all I have to do is duplicate it, right? Now, the second part would be get this label, make sure we have to delete the, the auto layout, right? So there is no auto layout here. Let's remove it, done. Now, you can see the vector, let's remove this vector. Let's remove the field, we don't need it. Now, what we have to do is get this L and align it with the cursor uh, like so. Now, we're gonna hit zero or reduce the opacity to zero, okay? Now, you have to make sure that, that the uh, that the cursor aligns aligns right with the with the label otherwise it will jump okay so let's let's do that really quick let's do that here we go that's fine now what we have to do is put this to zero we have our label aligned right and then because our cursor it was on on 16 so have to do the same 16 at the line height to 24 right then move this label up then we have a right padding so now let's see what we have 16 here let's remove the auto layout it's cool 13 here that works Because what we what we're looking for is for this to to be aligned, okay? Okay. Now, now what we have to do is get this label, put it right here. Okay. Now, now let's get the label different color. Let's put it black or maybe let's use this color and put it right here and we're gonna do the same for uh, border all right all right now it's cool now all we have to do is select both and create multiple components okay now ctrl r command r and let's rename them and just add one and two okay that would be much better now I'm gonna combine them as variants, all right? Now let's go ahead to prototype tab. So now when we went to prototype tab, what I wanted to do is, is to be on click, change to instance uh, to the component two. It's gonna be smart animate, easy in and out. And let's add 150 right here, okay? On timing so now I'm gonna do the same for the second one on click I change to um, smart animate everything remain the same as you can see right so now what I wanted to do is get this instance right and check if it works now let's click here so this at the product needs to be in the frame. Okay, let's add the frame to it. Because you can't see it anyway. Alright, we've added the frame. Let's make sure that 
this component is within the frame now when we've done that let's go ahead and get these frames right here because i already prepared them just to be quicker so we have two frames let's get our instance and add it to the to the mobile frame right then what we have to do is make sure it's aligned okay so you see when i'm when i'm moving it if you can look at the at the bottom right here it tries to align it so this is very important that we keep elements aligned on the page okay now what we have to do is duplicate this element and on this we're gonna change to the instance one here we go now what we want to do is go ahead to prototype uh, tab now we're gonna animate it so it's gonna be on click very easy animation on click navigate to smart and we don't need smart anime it's gonna be instant the same the same applies on the second frame set it back the same settings okay now i'm gonna move the the visual it's gonna start from this one to this one the first now let's let's see if it loads yeah it loads finally i see if it works as expected so now i'm clicking on the field yep yeah. awesome so it works exactly as as we plan to okay so just remember that in order for this label to slide up here you have to do it the, the way i've showed you where you use this instance you duplicate this this instance this component basically before it's it's a component and you use it right here and you match you match the the cursor that we have right here and you add it right next to it otherwise then will work if you're gonna create separate element without using this one that would just appear but you won't slide up and down okay so this is very important this is a, a tricky part of this uh, of this tutorial okay yep that's it for today if you like this tutorial please like and subscribe uh, thank you so much and have a great day